having some knowledge about what we know from the anatomy and the injury and the, what we don't know, even knowing how little we know, uh, it empowers people to explore. And even by exploration, we probably are benefiting these kids uh, because of the possibility of trying different experiences. So that's a long story of how I got to follow Christ. Well, actually, that's a pretty Over the last 10 <laughs> years, I've been getting more uh, of a, an understanding of the value that families found in the therapies. And that made me curious on how can we validate uh, some of these interventions to make it not just only accessible to those that know about it or can afford it, but also to make it be covered by insurance, recommended by physicians or practitioners anywhere in, in the country. So we believe that interventions in childhood have a dramatic impact. And I would say even in dollars, because the people become more able and empowered to take on their own lives and their own journeys, which is what we are up and working for ourselves. It remains unclear if children recover better than adults after a stroke, but the evidence we see in clinic is that they do. <laughs> they constantly are gaining and gaining more function. What we also know is that versus a 75 year old that has a stroke and it has like 20 years ahead, a kid may have 85 years ahead. And that's the magnitude of the challenge that we're facing. And that's why we need to really think about not how to patch things, but how to develop skills that they carry on uh, as they become older and older. I have a couple of mentors that I follow on what they told families they needed to happen when you have an Achilles tendon that is shortening. Uh, and then I was like showing this, like a stretching exercises that you do at night and got another parent that is familiar with Feldenkrais Christ and said, not at all. That's not how we stretch. And then I started thinking about like, hold on, let me think about this. And then I go look and I can find good evidence, even in adults that stretching helps people. So, and, and, and this was something revealing to me because I took it from this point of view as an expert opinion. And I was becoming the expert and giving the same mistake and passing on the bias uh, to my patients. But the worst part is putting these families in a very difficult situation, which is having to disregard the recommendation of their doctor, which, which is very uncomfortable to do when you're trying to raise a child that has a lot of challenges and you don't want to hurt them, least miss an opportunity to help. Again, I'm not telling you trash everything that your doctor is saying. I'm saying the other way around, start a conversation with your doctor and say, why? Why do we do this? And if you find something different, also educate your doctor. We are people that are very thirsty for learning too. So if you tell us, hey, look at this. And I had it done in my office, like bending, changing the position of the hip and the knee and seeing what you can accomplish by voluntary movement as a stretching exercise. Uh, and these things are, are things that you are experiencing with your kid when you do these therapies. Like, please share them. Be very giving to us in, in just sharing what is happening. So let's not pretend that we can do the therapies on a one-time basis, on 30-minute session, getting into traffic, and going to the hospital, and expect that that's going to make the whole change. What we really need to learn is how to make a program of practices that the kid can experience once it leaves that therapy session. And I think in this regard, uh, Feldenkrais basically is, is based on this, this concept, like an intense education and then going on uh, in life <laughs> and experiencing the world. November 5th through November 10th. Sign up to get your free access pass today.